I was on the thruway for, let's see, just about 45 minutes and I slammed a deer. Future machines, I just want to warn you, my life is getting more and more chaotic. Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I hope you are enjoying your day. I'm already on pursuit to Jake the Toilet Snake's house. We are going to see Jake, we are going to see Seth. I actually think this is Seth right there, is that Seth? Yeah, that's Seth. <laughs> I know everybody's ready for a very eventful 3D Machines production, and that's exactly what I'm going to give to the machines. Now, there are a few people, and I assume that they're haters that say they don't like to be called machines, but there also are machine freaks, too, and there's a police officer, so I better put this camera down. I mean, for example, my girlfriend's a machine freak. So it looks like the fire department and like police and ambulance are all over here because uh, the we're getting too much water and our town might flood or whatever. And uh, my house is only like a hundred yards away from this creek. So enjoy this 3D Machines production. No, uh -oh, we got trouble. Big trouble. Junkiest bike ever. That's a nice Yamaha. Treat her nice. So it's oh, so the Baja's better, huh? Oh yeah. First kick. First try! So I've seen small Jake, that's Max, that's Jake's little brother. I've also seen all their bikes, they got them all loaded up on my trailer. They're taking my trailer to Indiana, which is, I don't know if they're leaving today or tomorrow. So it looks like they got Jake's bike, Jake's mom's bike, and then Jake's dad's bike. I made it back to the warehouse. Those guys are worried about Indiana. I'm worried about Maryland, so I'm getting packed up for Maryland. The next thing on my list is the Brat Board. There are still a lot of things I have to do before this event. I have some modifications for the Duramax. I have to contact Kyle for special reasons. You'll find out later in the video. And I also bought something just in case things get haywire. I think I showed these in one of my videos on accident. You just never know. I'd rather be safe than sorry. We will be taking the machine tables for the merch stand. I also have to put these nuts and bolts in the Duramax. They actually go to the bumper. So we also have that to do. However, those waited that long. Let's move to something more exciting. The last time I tried to install these things, I didn't succeed. But we're about to change that. As you can see, I did the tables correctly, so if I can do the tables correctly, I should be able to do the truck correctly. And if things get too bad, I can always reread the instructions. The front looks sick. I love it. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna continue the movement. We're gonna continue fixing the D machine. That's right, the Duramax is the renowned D machine. When my cousin Josh is helping me with the paint job on this thing, somehow the, the bumper came into play. What I mean by that is we started talking about it, and he's like, yeah, those bumpers suck to take on and off. Yeah, Josh, you're right. A lot of kids and even some owners of vehicles don't know this, but if you actually open these things, this is how you let your tire down underneath here. There's usually tools in your back seat and you stick something in here and then it lowers, there's a cable and it lowers your tire. Well, when I put the bumper on, you know, to make my reveal video, I didn't connect. Uh, there's a tube down here, I didn't connect that. It's actually that one right there. I didn't hook that up, so I had to just take off the two bolts, the only two bolts that I installed. So now that that's all situated, I can finally install these bolts. Now to try to get home and accomplish everything else on the list. The machine coming through. And now the world gets to see the Duramax's nice add-ons. 
This guy's saving the day. Kyle, what's up, buddy? Oh, nothing. Tearing the truck apart, huh? Yeah. You know what that means. You got down to a science now. That's right. Did you see my new decal on my truck? No, I wasn't even looking. Oh, you gotta check it out, man. Let me untune this hot rod. <laughs> she is a hot rod. I thought about using my other programmer just to... Oh, you got a, You got another one? This one. That's programmer, too. I just didn't want to... Un I got it. Oh, the wiring ran in here nice. Oh, okay. I didn't want to undo that. <laughs> so you got multiple tuners, and here I'm tuneless. Fantastic. It happens. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're supposed to wear a helmet at this event or not, so I brought that thing just in you case. You might actually be supposed to. I don't know what that little thing's gonna do if this six hundred thousand or this <laughs> six thousand pound truck uh, goes squirrely. No, I'll call you. <laughs> that'll be live. That'll be live action. No, I don't want anything to happen. That's why you got to keep me on level two. Because if you put me up to five, you know I'm just gonna want to show off. That's okay. how it's gonna go. So are they the same four fuses on both vehicles? Yeah, are they're they, in the instructions too. Are they in the same like location on yeah. yours as it is mine? Oh yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I'll run tuneless for the weekend. I don't know. It's gonna kill me you, you won't be. <laughs> What's that? It's gonna kill me, but I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, man. I'm gonna have to buy you some lunch. I haven't ran without a tune since like a year and a half ago. I've only ran without a tune. Yeah, you're missing out in life. Right? I know. That's okay. It keeps me away from the law enforcers and every other problem in the world. Well, she starts. Now, if she gets us there, that's good. But if she doesn't get us home, that's no good. Well, thank you very much, Kyle. I owe you some lunch. We'll have a good time when we get back. I don't want you to come and get me, so don't don't jinx me, okay? I don't want to either. It's a long drive. <laughs> very long. Especially towing that thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Enjoy your night. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let thank you. Get there. Oh, yeah. My brother Cole is going to the event with me. We are taking off tonight. It is Friday. We have the entire Duramax filled with uh, merchandise. We're doing some late night shopping real quick. I gotta get some water and a battery for my remote on my truck. This thing's dead. We're running out of juice! No. -uh. We're in the intersection! <laughs> You're running out of juice? We're not in the intersection, come on! Is it dead? This is full charge. <laughs> that thing's a liar. <laughs> it's 4.57 in the morning. We were at a red light. I was on the throughway for, let's see, just about 45 minutes and I slammed a deer, slammed a deer. I'm not sure what the damages are yet, but just know Duramax is all f***ed up. Before I show you the damage, I just wanna say I'm running a 10% off 72 hour sale at machinemerch.com to help pay for the damages you're about to see. No damage. Oh, yeah, holy sh That must have been his horns. Wow. Yep, saved that right in. Right in. Holy sh That is all f***ed up. Wow. Dude, it totaled it. It totaled it. If you want to wear something comfy and you want to support a good cause, consider going to machinemerch.com. The coupon code is save the DMAX. We got our stand up. Cole's gonna man it for a little bit. Uh, we're looking hot, we're looking fly, we're looking frog and fresh. It's just gonna be a very, very good time and a very loud time today. You got this thing, this thing. And then you got these things. I do not belong here at all. Oh, we can look at the, we can look at the. Okay, so when the deer hit me, his horns were like right here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then I think his horns start dragging here. Hit here. And then flipped and then totally took out my my bumper. So I'm racing a fellow Duramax. Unfortunately, I got a lot of weight here in shirts. The back is completely filled with water, so that's not helping me. I think Cole calculated it out. It's like 500 pounds just in water. So uh, that's definitely not helping me. This
this part of the video is live right now, so I can't tell you what happened or anything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this 3 Machines production. Wish me luck, wish me safety, stay froggy fresh, stay super fly, consider being a machine, and being challenged, color outside the lines, and being different. And when bad things happen, don't get mad, just shake it off. Until next time, 3D Machines out.